Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Empowerment with Elizabeth. Today I am here with my sweet new friend Tara, and she is going to talk to us about being a state title holder and her prep for Miss Teen USA. So Tara, tell us a little bit about you. So I am Tara Marshall. I'm from Hanover, New Hampshire. And let me just start off by saying I'm really happy that you invited me and I'm so excited. Um, I have just been crowned Miss Teen or uh, Miss New Hampshire Teen USA. And yeah, I guess my main platform is pretty much just empowering women to pursue careers in STEM, but along with including um, equity and inclusion, just um through like ethnic background inclusion and like LGBTQIA plus inclusion um, and also just gender inclusion itself. I love it. Yeah. She does it all. <laughs> so talk to us about pageants. You know, when did you start? How did you start? And how did they get you to where you are now? So I had always grown up watching like the Miss Universe pageants and pretty much I, I hadn't really known of any other pageants besides Miss Universe because I come, well, my background is Thailand and my half of my family is from Thailand and it's really big there so yeah I guess I I started off just watching admiring all the women up there and like what really struck me was how these women have such like pageantry isn't their whole life they're part of it is a lot of just advocacy and having their own incredible careers like real life like Barbie dolls and like they just do it all and that really inspired me so that kind of what that's kind of what got me into it I love it I love it so I want to know you know you've been competing in pageants so what is your favorite phase of competition and then talk to us a little bit about why that phase is your favorite I would say I think the on stage question is my favorite I think that I mean I, it, I've had a, like a hard time deciding between like an on-stage question and an interview, although I really love the interview portion because it's like you're having a conversation and it's really fun. Um, but I think the on-stage question, I think that it's it was the most challenging part for me because in my first pageant, I didn't know that we would have that. So it, it was kind of a surprise to me. I was like, oh, like we're getting this. Um, but I think it was a lot of fun, like figuring it out on the spot I I really like things that are kind of on the spot like that and they're sort of challenging but I think that yeah I think it's I'm not like I think walking and stage presence are really tricky to master but I think the most difficult is just saying something that aligns with who you are and that you want to promote your platform you want to promote your ideas and I think one of the hardest things about pageantry is coming up with that with such little time. I would agree. I think, so I've done about 245 episodes of my podcast now, and a lot of those are pageant girls. And you might be the first one to say the onstage question. (laughs) Because usually people are like, I would rather do literally anything else except for onstage questions. So I can get you for that. That's extremely impressive. I wish I was the same way. (laughs) Thank you. Um, but I want to know, this This question is easily the hardest one, so you can take a second to think if you need to, but I want to know why you think that the judges selected you specifically to represent your state. I think that, I think that in my interview, I, I mean, not to toot my own heart, but I think that I was very authentic and I was very real and I was very approachable. I think that I think that a lot of can like a lot of um, candidates for the title tend to have this feeling that oh I need to be perfect I need to be totally polished I need to be perfect I can't have any flaws in my speech but I personally believe that it's the opposite I think that the judges want to see that you are somebody that they could have lunch with have coffee with and that they can real and authentic that anybody would be comfortable with being your friend being and looking up to you and I think that it's really important to have that trait and I think that's part of the reason why because I talked about I was very raw I talked about my most embarrassing moments I talked about just my background and I think that I think that say like being true to myself really helped me um like elevate my position just in their eyes yeah absolutely absolutely and next up for you obviously is nationals and those are coming up 
Super quickly. So I want to know what you've been working on to prep. I know you like literally just got crowned, but I'm sure you've already started prepping. So what have you been focusing on with your prep for Miss Teen USA? So I, my main focus has just been uh, just promoting what, since I've been gifted this state platform to just talk about what I believe in and do appearances that cater to my values. I think that was my main focus. Three days after I was crowned, I visited a school. I visited my local temple. And I think that I just immediately got right into it. Um, On the technical side, I've been designing. I designed my costume a week after I was crowned with my best friend. Um, And I have been Working on my lookbook for the week, I think that me and my mom were just talking about that. And most importantly, I've been thinking about interview and thinking about, like, what part of me, like, I want to display the best qualities of myself, but it's okay if I can be vulnerable. So I've just been working on that with um, KP Consulting. So they're our sponsored um, consultant, and they've been really great. I love it. I love it. And our final question, if you could give one piece of advice to a girl competing at your state pageant next year, what would it be? I actually have like two pieces on the more technical side and the more like sort of yourself. I think that the most important thing is to truly be authentic. And I used to not believe that. I used to say that, oh, like, no, they want somebody like perfect. But I honestly think that being yourself and showing that you are proud of yourself not just proud of who you are but you're also proud of where you come from I think it's a really important thing to have and to carry with you as you go through the competition because it not only shows in your interview it shows when you're on stage that you are so proud to be who you are and you're so proud to be where you're from and you're proud to represent that part of the state where you come from um and then my second piece of advice um like technically it would just be to be very organized and plan ahead because I think that um, whether you're competing in a teen pageant or a miss pageant, there's lots of times where your mom or family or friends aren't going to be able to be there with you to hold your hand. And I think that this is something I have to get with too, but I think that being organized with um, your outfits, your um interview having somebody like help you um maybe over the phone I think that just being organized with all your material would be really helpful and just making sure everything is in on time so that there's nothing that could get in your way absolutely absolutely well thank you so much Tara for coming on and chatting with us about you and your title and all the amazing things you've been doing with your platform and just know that we'll be cheering you on at nationals thank you yeah thank you for having me it's been great Of course. And I will see the rest of you guys on our next episode. Bye, y'all.